Hello and welcome, everyone, to For You English. I'm Adam, and I'm Elsie. So it looks like today our article is about medical treatments、mm, okay. that were used long time ago. So, Adam, have you had any medical treatments that scared you? That scared me. Yes, I have. I had to replace my knee completely when I was younger.、Uh, it's completely replaced with all different metals and screws. Wow! And yeah, so it was very scary when I was younger. So you had a big surgery, right? That's right. How long was it? The surgery. How long did it take? The surgery lasted about eight hours altogether. Eight hours.、Yeah. Okay. So, and how did you feel after you woke up? Hurt. <laughs> Hurt. Were you still yes, scared? Yes. Um, after the process went through and the surgery was a success, I was no longer scared.、Mm-hmm. I thought that it was a success and that I would be able to walk healthily and okay from then on. So,、oh, so you felt relieved. I did after the surgery.、You're、okay,、right. so I think now it's time for us to read our article、mm-hmm. and find out what this medical treatment we're talking about. All right. Well, let's right hop right into it. Reading. Medical treatments you won't believe really existed. These days, if we're feeling a bit under the weather, there is an expectation that we can get good medical care. Sure, doctors don't yet know everything about the human body and disease, but they know a lot. Of course, this wasn't always the case. A long time ago, people believed that letting out one's blood could heal a range of problems, from fever to painful lungs. People might also have had holes hammered into their heads to relieve headaches and other problems. Surprisingly, there were many strange practices in use until quite recently. Bear in mind. That it wasn't until almost the 19th century that the first vaccine was invented, and antibiotics weren't available until 1928. Let's transport ourselves back to the 19th or early 20th century. This was a time of great discovery, and the world was becoming industrialized. But medical knowledge was still limited. And there were few laws controlling what could be sold. Today, we can see that it was fairly likely that this combination led to so many strange medical practices during that period. Well, our article says these days, if we're feeling a bit under the weather, there is an expectation that we can get good medical care. So there we see the words "under the weather," and "under the weather" is a phrase that means a person that isn't feeling well. Ah,、oh, so when we say somebody is under the weather or feels under the weather, 那就代表那个人不舒服 So for example, I can say I'm feeling a bit under the weather. 我不太舒服 I might have got a cold. 我可能感冒了 That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Also, in that sentence, we saw the word expectation. Expectation is a noun, and it is a belief that something will happen because it is likely. So, for an example, I could say, "I have little expectation that I will pass this test." So maybe I didn't study for the test, and therefore. I really know that I'm probably not going to get a good grade. I have little expectation that、mm-hmm. an A plus is coming my way. Expectation 这个名词呢，代表是期望、预期。那动词形式是 expect, e x p e c t。所以我们可以说 ，Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. 代表呢，我之前没有预期会在这边见到你。所以回到课文呢，我们说现在我们觉得不舒服的时候，就可以预期我们会接受到良好的医疗照顾。So being sick is not that scary anymore. Doctors cannot help us. That's right. You shouldn't feel that scared nowadays.、Mm. Um, okay. Well, our continue our article continues to say, sure, doctors don't yet know everything about the human body 
and disease, but they know a lot. Oh, so in a, 虽然医生们不是全盘了解人体和疾病，但他们已经知道很多了。So they do know a lot. What about in the past? Now they know a lot. Now they know a lot. In the past, it was a little bit maybe、uh, not so much. Not、And、so much. So our article is going to continue with that. It says, of course, this wasn't always the case. And in that sentence, we see something is the case, which means something is true. You can also say something is not the case, which means something is not true. 没错，所以呢，当我们看到 be 动词加上的 case 的时候，代表情况是如此。那如果你加上 not 这个否定词进去 ，be not the case， 那就是情况并不是如此。So for example, we all thought he was a good guy. In fact, it wasn't the case. 那就代表呢，我们以前都以为他是个好人，但事实上情况并非如此。All right. Well, getting back to our article, it says. A long time ago, people believed that letting out one's blood could heal a range of problems, from fever to painful lungs. So there, we also see "let something out." It means to allow a person or animal to leave somewhere, usually by door. However, in that sentence, it means they're letting out. The blood from the arm. 对呀、啊，在课文里面不是动物，我们说的是血 blood.、Mm. Oh, so let something out is 放出，释放出。那我们可以说像是 Our neighbor keeps the dog in the cage and never lets it out. 代表我们的邻居呢，将狗关在笼子里面，不曾放它出来。所以就像刚刚 Adam 所说的，我们这边在放的是血。We are letting out one's blood here, and doing it can heal a lot of problems. Well, that's what they're thinking. So, we see that word "heal," and "heal" is a verb. It's a wound, injury, or even a person, and it's to become better or healthy again. So, a lot of times, if you have a a scratch or a cut, you could say to someone, "Here, put this cream on your cut. It will heal it faster." 哦，擦擦药，它会愈合的比较快。Mm. 所以 heal 这个动词代表就是使点点点愈合或是治愈，也可以用 cure 来说。可是两个有一点点不一样。Heal 它比较偏向是外伤上面的痊愈，那 cure 它是指偏向疾病上的痊愈。那如果只是治疗，那我们用 treat 这个字。那课文说放血在过去被视为一种治疗方式。So what were some other ways to treat people? Oh well. Besides letting out blood. Well, that's what we're going to find、yeah. out. So jumping back into our article, it says people might also have had holes hammered into their heads to relieve headaches and other problems. Holes hammered into their heads. That's correct. Isn't that crazy? Oh wow! 那我们先进到每今天的 language and focus， 看看这边要讲的用法喽。今天的 language and focus， 我们要讲到的是主词加上 must、may、might 或是 could， 再加上 have 以及一个过去分词的用法。这个是什么东西呢？它代表的是过去推测的语气哦。所以情态助动词呢 ，must、may、might、could 这些字可以搭配 have、had、pp， 那表示对过去事件的推测。那如果你要做的是肯定的推测，你可以用 must 加上 have 跟 pp， 像是呢 ，Harry must have been sick because he didn't show up in class today， 代表 Harry 一定是生病了，他今天没有来上课，所以你是一个肯定的推测。那如果要表示的是过去可能可能的推测，你可以用 may、might、could 这三个，再加上 have。以及一个 PP， 像是呢 ，Someone may have told Tom what Eric said about him. He was very angry this morning. 可能呢，有人把 Eric 所讲关于 Tom 的事情告诉他了。他今天早上很生气。And so there we saw the word hammer, but here we're using hammer as a verb, which means to bang something. You can hammer a nail into a wall, or you can say or use an example sentence such as. I can hear our neighbor hammering something next door. 
。OK， 所以我们以前学的 hammer， 它都是一个名词，代表那个工具，那个 tool， 锤子。那这里呢，它是用来当动词使用的，代表是用锤子去敲、去打。所以呢 ，hammer something into something else， 那就是把点点点锤进。某个地方或某个物品当中，那课文当中你看到的是被动哦，所以我们说过去人们会在头上打洞。Is it acupuncture or something? Not quite acupuncture, but it's 不是针灸，那是什么？哦、oh, ，interesting. Yeah.、Hmm. It would be interesting to see, or would you like to have, if you were suffering from a headache, someone to hammer? No, absolutely、hole? not. Absolutely not. It's、okay. too scary. Would you? No, of course not.、No. Right? <laughs> I don't think anyone at home would also want to be hammered with a hammer. Okay. So also in that sentence, we saw the word relieve, which is a verb. It is to make an unpleasant or Bad feelings such as pain or worry or less strong. Ah,、oh, so relieve 这个动词是减轻、舒缓，所以在头上打洞可以 relieve headaches. You want them gone, yeah. 对， they, 舒缓头痛。Right. 会不会让它更痛呢 ？I think your head will hurt more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will. Exactly. <laughs> All right, jumping back into our article, it says surprisingly. There were many strange practices in use until quite recently. So there we see in use, which means being used. Are the computers in use? You could、oh. say. So you walk into a internet cafe.、Mm -hmm. You can ask the boss. Ah,、uh, excuse me. Are the computers in use? And he can say yes. They are all in use. Ah,、uh, so it's just in asking, "Hey, the computer, is there anyone using it? Is it being used?" So, in use means being used. Or, we can say the TV they bought thirty years ago is still in use today. Wow, yeah, like my parents. That means they bought the TV they bought thirty years ago, and it's still in use today. Wow, yeah, like my parents. Getting back into our article, it says, "Bear in mind that it wasn't until almost the 19th century that the first vaccine was invented." So there we see, "bear something in mind that." So this is a phrase to remember to consider something when you are thinking about or doing something else. So you could say to somebody. Bear in mind that flights to America will be expensive during the holidays. So the bear 呢，它是个动词哦，跟熊是没有关系的。Bear something in mind that 后面再加一个子句，也就是主词加动词的子句要接在 that 的后方，代表的就是考虑到某事物或是记住某事物。所以我们可以说，像是 Bear in mind. That I'm allergic to seafood, so don't take me to any seafood restaurant. 那就是要人家记住说呢，我对海鲜过敏，所以不要带我去海鲜餐厅。那课文 back to the article， 我们说到，直到快要十九世纪的时候，第一个 vaccine， the first vaccine， that's right， 第一个疫苗才被发明出来。Yeah. That's right. We see the word vaccine. It's a type of medicine that doesn't make you feel better. But helps keep you from getting sick in the future. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease; it is used to prevent it. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease; it is used to prevent it. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease; it is used to prevent it. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease; it is used to prevent it. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease; it is used to prevent it. Okay, so vaccine is not used to treat your disease. So antibiotic, 那就是抗生素 You like taking antibiotics, right? Well, <laughs> it, it helps. There's a lot of things that antibiotics are good for. Yes,、um, such as one would be、uh, an easy one would be a lot of dermatologists, which are skin、oh. doctors, will say if you're breaking out with do、uh, do is that how you do, say do. in、pimples. Chinese? Yeah, with pimples. 
they will give you an antibiotic, and that can actually clear up your skin. Oh, so this is the dough dough. It can use antibiotics, but too much is not good, right? Too much is not good. Too much of anything is never good. 对，太多使用太多就是不好了。那我们课文说到抗生素，直到一九二八年才问世。All right. So our article continues to say. Let's transport ourselves back to the 19th or early 20th century. Here we see the word transport, which is a verb. It is to make you imagine or feel as if you are in a different place or time. It's like I've been transported back to the 18th century. When I see the buildings in this little town, is an example sentence we could use. I feel like I'm going back in time, and I'm looking around, and I'm no longer where I am. I have been transported back in time. So we're talking about transport somebody to something. That is, transport someone to a certain time. That is, transport someone to a certain time. That is, transport someone to a certain time. That is, transport someone to a Okay. Well, let's get back into our article. It says now, this was a time of great discovery, and the world was becoming industrialized. There we see that long word industrialized. It's an adjective, which means a country or area that has been developed with large businesses and factories. 啊，所以就是我们中文说的工业化的哈，因为我们就用到 industrialized 这个形容词 ，it's an adjective. That's right. So no longer a farming community of Taiwan, it has been industrialized, and we have these big cities. Okay. Well, getting back to our article, it says now, but medical knowledge was still limited, and there were few laws controlling what could be sold. 哦、oh, ，所以虽然当时正逐渐工业化，但是呢，医疗知识还是有限的，能够规范的法律也很少。Few laws. Yeah, not many laws then. So we'll continue by saying, today we can see that it was fairly likely that this combination led to so many strange medical practices during that period. There in that article, we see the word fairly. Which is an adverb, which means more than a little, but less than very. So I could say an example sentence such as, "I know her fairly well, but we aren't very close." So it means you know her pretty well, right? Right. 还蛮认了解她认识她的，但是不是太熟。Right. We want to hang out.、Mm. Uh, also, we see that word combination, which is a noun. It's two or more things mixed or put together. So, an example sentence we could say: The color pink is a combination of red and white. Okay, so 回到刚刚讲到的字 fairly 这个副词，哈，它呢代表相当的、一定程度的。那除了 fairly 之外，你可以说 quite 或是 rather pretty 都可以。那再来 combination 这个名词代表组合、结合，所以医疗知识有限，加上法律规范少，因为这样的状况，当时才有这些奇怪的医疗方式。嗯、mm. ，So Elsie, what's your favorite combination of food? Um, combination. 刚刚讲到是这个合体嘛，对不对？结合。那这个我最喜欢的食物是什么、mm. ？McDonald's. Hmm.、Okay. Hamburger plus chicken nuggets. Together on a hamburger, I was thinking like <laughs> you're a flavor. So you could say, I like something that is sweet but also a little sour. Oh, and mix together. So yeah, swan tian. <laughs> That、well, the sweet fish. That's as well too. That、okay. would be a good combination for myself for food. All right. All right. Well, let's get started to our for you chat. For you chat. Okay, everyone. For our for you chat question, what's the strangest practice you know? Hmm. Adam, did you know there is one therapy called electroshock therapy? Yes, I've heard about this. Where they 
electroshock your brain. Yes, they will take two kind of handles, and it's people that are suffering from mental illnesses、um, and the like. And they'll tr- and if nothing else works, the medicine doesn't work. The doctor gives you the pills don't work. We'll learn about pills later.、Um, they'll use a shocking device that will kind of jumpstart your brain. Ooh! It was a very、uh, dangerous technique when it first came out. However, now they've kind of. Made it a lot safer, and it is still in practice today. Oh, so it's still in use. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so it's、um, going to cure their mental illnesses. It's some relief. I think it does, like the vocab word, it does relief, and it might lead to、uh, cure, but it's not one hundred percent guaranteed that、okay. that will happen. All right. So、um, I think our students can think about. Mm-hmm. One strangest practice that they know. Yeah, talk ar- amongst your guys' self and see what is something that you've heard, or maybe your grandma has told you, or your grandpa that is what they do to make you feel better.、Uh, what is something that you can talk about with your friends? That's a really strange practice. Yeah, but for now we have to say goodbye. So for for you English, this is Elsie, and I'm Adam. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Expectation. Greg's dish didn't meet the judges' expectations, so he didn't reach the next round of the cooking show. Heal. Mike's broken leg is taking a long time to heal because he keeps trying to walk. Hammer. Leon hammered a nail into the wall. So he could hang up a picture in his living room. Transport. That movie transported me back to the 1960s. I felt like I was there. Fairly. The test was fairly easy, so most of the students got a good grade. Combination. The best passwords are a combination of letters, numbers, and special symbols. 小补帖。Relieve. Vaccine. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Industrialized. <音楽>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。